Hello everyone. I had a goal for about 64 paintings, I think this is, and um, I got two more left. I thought it'd be a good idea to do it live, right? Well, I'll speed up some things because I'm just going to talk here in this intro, and then uh, then we're going to do some thumbnails. I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet. Maybe a landscape. Uh, definitely probably some photo bashing. We'll have to see. I'm just gonna play around with it. Look at that, 2019. It was a, it was a terrible year, as far as the amount of work that I got done. Um, 2018 was okay. 2017 a little bit better, but 2016 I was, I was unemployed for six months, so that's why I did a lot. And every year it seemed like I was getting lower and lower. So this year I made a, a big effort to try to get the same amount if not more it looks like I'm probably gonna be right at the same amount this year was just rough like I was doing a lot of pet portraits as you can see one two three four five six seven eight I didn't really enjoy doing them I like the outcomes of a lot of them a lot of them turned out really good but it's just something that I wasn't as passionate about as I thought I would be so this year I was like no more pet portraits unless they're like my pets and I'm just having fun with it um or like the fox and the hound I, I love that one man this year was a lot of fun I was I was doing a lot of photo bashing um which kind of inspired me to do more work because it wasn't as daunting to to do everything so like there's still some photo remnants in here which i i, I like that i kind of like that grunginess of it this one was a lot of fun there's a little bit of a photo in this one too um i don't think we'll get to this level of quality today because um at 12 28 the clock is ticking so i really just want to get something done within the next couple hours and uh, maybe we could get something halfway decent. So maybe maybe something a little bit more on this level of uh, quality. But we'll have to see how things go. I hope it goes well. We got our thumbnails uh, ready to sketch out some ideas. I don't know if I'll do four. Maybe I'll do two, two at, at the very least. So let's get started. And I'll see you on the other side. And... Maybe I'll talk about the process and how everything went. Alright, so I think that this one is the one that I'm going to go with. Um, I'm not going to do a third one because I feel good about this one. I, I just really want to explore this more. Um, it's actually kind of like that one that I showed you earlier. What can I say? I like snow. I like the idea of a city being in on top of a mountain. I think it's a, I think it's a cool concept. So I kind of did a similar thing. I'll probably put a figure here too. So we'll see. I think this will be a fun one. Um, so yeah, let's get, get into that and we'll, we'll see how it turns out.
All right, so that did not take two hours. That took 10 hours, and I'm perfectly happy with that because inspiration took over, and I just I got sucked into this one. Look at this thumbnail. It's pretty much still the same painting at, at its core, and I'm very happy with that, that, that I was able to stick with the original concept, and I didn't go too far away. I mean, it, turning this on and off is just kind of pretty amazing about how everything sticks. What did I want to talk about? The, uh, I mean, let's, uh, maybe, maybe got some tips and tricks, maybe something. I started off with just a quick colorization of it and right away, then, then right into photo bashing. I, I straight up stole, uh, the colors from this painting from, uh, Noah Bradley just to get started. Uh, obviously, I, I got 
pretty far from that. So I feel okay with stealing it in the beginning because eventually it's it's all going to be different anyways. But just to get, you just to hit the floor running, yeah, it's okay. I was looking at a lot of his rocks and snow uh, and how I can incorporate that. Yeah, and then just started with a little bit of photo bashing. Got in there and got, started started painting my own things and then step by step painting this all on one layer i mean all these are like merged so um essentially it's one layer i just like to to keep track of my progress that way say if this was where i was at i can always turn this on and off and see well is everything that i'm doing working let's see what else uh yeah just added some lighting in here I don't know if you guys know Andrew Tischler. He's a oil painter here on YouTube. He has three questions that he asks himself. What's working? What's not working? And what if? And I love the what if part because anytime I, I get an idea for something and I may think, no, that's stupid. Here in Photoshop, you can just do it. There's no reason not to try something out if you're not sure because... You can try it, and then if it's not working, it's as simple as deleting the layer and continuing back where you left off. And this was the point from right here where I was just noodling around, and then I was like, what if we add like a pink glow underneath, like at the base of the city from where all the lights happening, like where all the light, street lights and cars and all that's going on? And I, I really liked it, so then I, I merged it and kept going. So... That's just a tip, guys. Always ask yourselves what if, and don't be afraid to to go ahead and try because that that in the end ended up being one of the the main focuses of the the city. And now looking at this, you know, I gotta say, Photo Bash is amazing. It has has taken this painting to places that I could not have imagined by myself, and um, I I say that with confidence and i think it's a, a great way to improve your art and i love painting on top of photos and i love this this mess this texture this this is pretty cool i think i like that impressionistic kind of abstractness about it like it, it just it works for me and I, and i think i um i really experimented a lot with that this year and I'm happy that I did because uh, the the first painting that I did this year was a photo bash. <laughs> I put right here at the at the bottom. How about we make it a photo bash year? And and I did. I did uh, quite a few, and I'm ending the year off strong. I think I actually painted a lot more than I than I initially thought I would, though. Um, finding a lot of the information in like these rocks on my own and the mountains. Uh, the the all the snow texture a lot of that's all hand painted. Uh, mostly the city was the the big help there, and you can see right here too. But I think that's it, guys. I'm like all jittered up right now from the the caffeine of sweet tea. I don't normally drink caffeine; it gives me anxiety. But this, I wanted to keep powering through, and I wanted to to get get done with this so I can release this before New Year's. Um, what do you guys think? Do you, do you like the painting? Um, are you a fan of Photo Bash? Are you going to photo bash? Are you going to make it a Photo Bash year 2021? Photo Bash all, all the time, every day. I think that's it. I think that's all I got to say about this. And I just want to thank you guys for sticking around and watching it all if you made it this far. And I'll, uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.